What's up, landlords? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I just want to quickly show you how I send out e-gift cards to all my tenants as a token of appreciation for their business. I create a system out of it and I can outsource it to my virtual assistant step by step. So I'm going to make this video as quick as possible and hopefully you can use this as a resource each year to you know, do the same thing, build rapport with your tenants and encourage long-term tenancies where they'll be happy to give you your, their business to you and they'll want to stay a long term, you know what I mean? So if you go, I'll share all these links with you guys. If you go to the IRS and, and you know, check it out, they actually say you can use gifts as deductions. And they got some parameters for basically for landlord you know, perspective, what we're doing here, $25 per property is, is a, what I've got clarification from my um, you know, accountant. And that's what I do and I've been doing for years. And if you don't already have an Amazon business uh, account, I would recommend setting that up. It makes life really easy. It goes back to treating your rental operation like a replicable business. Uh, gives you these like efficiencies. It separates stuff from your personal expenses, and you know you're just following all the rules and doing it right, and um, and getting that plain vanilla business advantage that I talk about. So once you oh here's the notes. Here's how I got it set up so the VA can uh, virtual assistant can get all my links. They go to Zoho Vault because I created an account for them. They have our business numbers where they can get the text verification codes, or in some cases, I actually use Twilio and have the text codes forward to their business email account that I set up for them. Here's the instructions. You select the Christmas design, $25. Um, you go into my property management software app folio. You grab the email accounts for all the properties, just the primary tenant. Um, then that's the tip right here and then here it's from our company and here's the message that we send with their name just basically just copy and paste here's an example this year i experimented with the text option which i did not like because as soon as you check out they go ahead and shoot off that text and i prefer to use the email because you can set it to be delivered on christmas day i just like that it just you know just what i prefer i think it's good because you can do this in advance no matter how early you want to do it, like let's say you want to do it in November or you like, you know, early December, you can set it, forget it, and you know it's going to be delivered at the appropriate time. Oh, also, once you do this, you might as well have your virtual assistant or your, yourself document the appropriate ex business expenses. So I show them how to go into the property management software, um, which uh, handles our accounting, enter the bill. 25 bucks per property. Here's my list of properties, but I remove those for privacy concerns. The GL code we use for gifts. And um, that's it in a nutshell. Here's what it will look like when you actually go to Amazon and you click the gift cards and end up in the e-gift card section. I selected the Christmas house with Christmas lights and stuff, you know. You can you can select any option that you want. And then you put them out in and put their email address, the from, which should be your company name. And then here's the message. And then you set the delivery date and then all you do is add to cart if you have multiple properties you keep adding a cart and at the end you can just check out just that simple i really hope this is uh, helpful to you guys please give me some feedback let me know if you do something similar or if you like this idea and you might try to use it in the future you guys are awesome talk to you later bye